Hello everyone, welcome back to Dopamine Biology. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. Today we will be talking about the basic cellular structures and functions. Life takes many forms, from giant redwood trees towering hundreds of meters in the air to the tiniest known microbes. The fundamental unit of life is the cell that all organisms contain at least one cell and cells only come from other cells. It is the smallest form of life that can replicate on its own, but cells in our body differ quite a lot from one another. Despite sharing certain characteristics, cells may vary significantly. Cells vary significantly in size, shape, structure, and function. The two main types of cells are prokaryotic cells that do not have a nucleus and eukaryotic cells that contain a well-organized membrane-bound nucleus. Each type of cell exhibits remarkable variety of structure, function, and metabolic activity. These and the succeeding video series will expo explore the distinguishing structures found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Let's begin our study of the cell by investigating the basic anatomy of a cell. At the simplest level of construction, all cells possess a few fundamental components. These include a cytoplasm, a gel-like substance composed of water and dissolved chemicals, which is contained within the plasma membrane, also called a cell membrane, one or more chromosomes, which contain the genetic blueprint of the cell and ribosomes, organelles used for the production of proteins. A prokaryote is a simple unicellular organism that lacks an organized nucleus or any other membrane bound organelles. In general, prokaryotic cells range in size from 0.1 to 5 micrometers and eukaryotic cells have diameters ranging from 10 to 100 micrometers. Beyond basic components, cells can vary greatly between organisms and even within the same multicellular organism. The two largest categories of cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells, are defined by major differences in several cell structures. The cellular organization of prokaryotic cells is primitive as they lack a membrane-bound nucleus and other membrane-bound cell organelles. With we will shortly come to see that this is significantly different in eukaryotes. Although prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells have many differences, they share some common features. Prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus, rather they have a membraneless nucleoid region that holds free-floating DNA. The entire DNA in a cell can be found in individual pieces known as chromosomes. Most prokaryotic cells consist of just one circular DNA. Prokaryotic cells have a plasma membrane that separates the cell from the surrounding environment. In prokaryotic cells, the ribosomes are scattered and floating freely throughout the cytoplasm. The ribosomes in prokaryotic cells also have smaller subunits. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus surrounded by a nuclear envelope. The nucleus holds the eukaryotic cell's DNA. A typical eukaryotic cell is surrounded by a plasma membrane and contains many different structures and organelles within a variety of functions. Eukaryotic cells possess a membrane-bound nucleus that holds DNA in the form of chromosomes. In eukaryotic cells, the ribosomes are bigger, more complex, and bound by a membrane. Eukaryotic cells have several other membrane-bound organelles not found in prokaryotic cells. These include the mitochondria, rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, in the case of plant cells, chloroplast, and many other organelles. All of these organelles are located in the eukaryotic cells cytoplasm. Thanks for watching.